Hello folks, in my previous video I talked about the disappointing results with germination some store-bought uh, new variety of seed for peas. So uh, even though they germinated very badly and even though I uh, reseeded the empty spots, they've been very slow to germinate here in the micro greenhouse. All of the seeds were pre-soaked as well for overnight so I was expecting maybe 24 hour or 2 or 3 days maximum germination but, it, but it's been a week and uh, you can see that they just now starting to show up and again most of the cells are empty uh, besides some random tomatoes and summer savory seedlings coming up from the compost so uh, as i was rather disappointed by that result i decided to go and see in the basement what uh, of our uh, seed saved peas from previous years we have and i found a long forgotten small jar of maybe a handful of pea seeds which had been sitting on a back shelf for at least five maybe six years i don't know and most interestingly all of the peas were eaten by weevils such as this one and uh, I know that all of the gardening tips and advice say that uh, eaten by weevils beans and peas and broad beans and chickpeas seeds cannot be used for growing but I thought what the hell I had the seeds anyway so first I uh, soaked the seeds for a couple of minutes just to wash them off and then I froze them for a few nights in the freezer at minus 18 celsius and then I defrosted them and I soaked them overnight and this happened this is uh, about 40 hours past the soaking you can see that many of the uh, peas have shoots growing uh, roots more exactly and even though some of those are eaten by weevils with the weevil still inside you can see here if I uh, manage to yes the weevil is still inside and the pea is germinating in one of the healthiest of the bunch so can see how many of them germinated even though they're eaten this one maybe has several weevils inside look at the black spot and still trying to live i think that maybe the weevils uh, maybe this is an adaptation i'm not sure but i suspect that they do not eat um, the future root of the seed so that allows the piece to reproduce so the weevils uh, have food for them on the next year as well it seems rather silly to destroy your own food base so the experiment which i thought will be very short-lived and of course a failure will be continuing now and i decided to go and plant those uh, handful of seeds of pea seeds in the garden and see if anything grows very nice bird song from a, I think it's a greater tit or blue tit so to make things more interesting I'll be planting them here in the garden without any cover without plastic row covers etc in this bed which I'm trying to do a broad bean land race for first year I planted maybe five I think varieties of broad beans and they are now just starting to germinate here pushing through the soil and luckily we just had a tiny amount of rain maybe 10 millimeters last night so everything is well soaked it's much needed moisture because we've been uh, having very dry and warm winter and this I think was the first rain in the last 30 days which is hugely disturbing 
so now I will be planting those uh, eaten germinated seeds along the fence here so they can climb up and we'll see how will they develop compared to the ones I'm growing in the um, in the greenhouse and my plan is to get the seed the plants from the seedling trays and plant them here as well on the lower side of the fence and just see how uh, an old eaten homegrown home saved seed will compete with store both very fresh seed and see what happens so that's all for now and i'll see you in the next one